Hey, Kurt Nugent again. Uh, today we're talking more about wealth, wealth building, creating wealth, and I'm getting questions asking me to elaborate on the difference between time for money and leveraging time for money. How does that work and how can someone, just anyone, get involved in that idea of, of creating wealth and that wealth building system? And we spoke about Robert Kiyosaki and that's explained in that book as well, but let me go into it right here. Take your job and just consider your job for a second. You go there and you have eight hours in the day which to earn. Now, of course, you could work overtime and do 16 hours or 12 hours, but that's not something you could do every single day because the body needs rest. So let's just take where the average person works and say eight hours per day. You're going to work and you're working eight hours per day. Those eight hours, that eight hour window is your earning power. Once you leave the job, that window closes and you're not earning anymore until tomorrow when you go in that eight hour window open again. The person, the owner of that corporation that you're working for, they're not trading their time for money. What they're doing is they're leveraging your time and other people's time for money. So you're going in and you're working eight hours, but the owner of the corporation, he has a thousand people working eight hours per day. So in his day, in his window to earn, he has a thousand people times eight hours. He has eight thousand hours in his day. You only have eight hours in your day. So you can never compete with this other guy because he's making he's getting eight thousand hours over his day you're only getting eight so you have to find a way to leverage it how can you get more time out of your day how can you get more hours more productive hours out of your day because there are only 24 hours in the day so you have to find a way to start leveraging now a lot of people are doing this as a matter of fact tomorrow i'll put out a video called 21st century slave I just made this video and I want you guys to take a look at it just so because it has in the video it speaks about a concept of how to leverage time for money and that's just one way of doing it so tomorrow we'll talk more about it we'll put it out but the idea of leveraging time for money anyone who's building wealth right now that's exactly what they're doing they're leveraging time for money they're not trading their time for money and as long as you're trading your time for money you're going to need to create other streams of income other revenues other areas of revenues and it's very simple to do once you know how to do it. it's like when I was working, I thought, this is it, I just have to go to work and work and work and work and hopefully I can get enough overtime and sell enough furniture and make enough commission. That never worked for me. But once I got into poetry, I published my own book. And 10 years later, someone is still buying that book. So I'm making money right now in 2011 off of some work that I did in 1999. Okay, so my books, that's one way of making up, of earning money. Then I, another way, I have CDs. You wake up in the morning, you see that you have a huge shipment, a huge order for CDs, and you have to ship those out. But you were sleeping while the order came in. And I know a lot of people say, well, Kirk, I don't have CDs. I don't have books. I haven't written anything. So I don't know how to earn any of this income but a lot of ordinary and I don't want to call you ordinary so let me take that but a lot of just people who are going about their daily business or getting involved in different business different ideas and they're transforming their lives by taking full responsibility by learning more becoming more financial savvy about how their money what they do with their money the way they invest their money because there's a huge difference maybe we should talk about that later as well the huge difference in how what poor people do on payday and what the wealthy do when they get paid. That's another video I'm going to put out to let you guys see because there's a big difference in what poor people do with money. Poor people buy stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of trinkets. When you go to their house, you can't find place on the countertop because they have so much stuff. But the stuff has no value. It's a liability. Rich people don't buy stuff. They buy assets. And that asset earns money to bring them more money, to buy more assets, to bring more money, and the cycle never stop while we're buying stuff. So forget about the stuff. Keep with your financial education. Start learning about how you can transform your life. Keep coming back here. If you have any questions, just leave the comments below and I'll answer them in the next video or the videos that's coming up. And share the link, KurtNugent.com, Facebook.com forward slash KurtNugent2 or YouTube.com with your friends forward slash KurtNugent. And we'll keep going.